In this video, you are going to learn about market economy circular flow models. So there are four stops on this flow model, and we're going to start with households. Households are individuals who live in the country. Uh, they do two roles in the economy. The first thing is they are consumers, which means that they buy and purchase things. The other thing that they do is that they are resource owners, and the resource that most people own is labor. Some other people might own land or other uh, precious metals or other resources like that, but everyone has labor that they can sell. The next step on the circular flow model would be firms. Firms are businesses. These are the places where things are produced. So if you like to picture a factory, that's a really good way to keep uh, what a firm is in your mind. So this is where things are produced. Now the next step between firms and households is what's called the product market. In the product market, like any market, you have a buyer and seller coming together. So the things that are produced at the firm are sold here in the product market to the households. And finally, you have the factor market. And the factor market is still where things are bought or sold, only the things being bought and sold this time are not products, but they are the factors of production. So think land, think capital, and of course, labor. So these are the four stops on the model. Now we're going to start with households and where their money goes. So these green lines are going to represent monetary flow. And the first uh, relationship here is household spending. As you know, households, individuals go to the product market and they buy things. They give their money uh, from the household to the product market, so that's spending. That money is then going to make its way from the product market to the firm in the form of revenue. So revenue is the money that companies bring in before they pay their costs. So that household spending passes through the product market and becomes revenue, which goes to the firm. But the firms don't keep that money. What they do is they send that money out in the form of wages and salaries. They have to pay for the factors of production, the land, the labor, and the capital. And they have to send their money to the factor market. Once that money goes to the factor market, it then finds its way, of course, back to the household in the form of income. So this is the monetary flow. Households spend their money in the product market. It enters back into the firm as revenue. The firm pays out wages and salaries through the factor market, and these wages and salaries become income for the households, and around and around it goes. But there's an exchange that happens here. First, households are providing their labor and their resources, and in exchange, they're getting income. So their labor and resources go to the factor market. From the factor market, their labor and resources find their way ultimately over to the firm itself. The firm's need and labor and resources to produce things. Of course, once the firm has produced things, those things, which we can call products or goods and services, will make their way to the product market. So the factory sends its products to the store, to market. And once those things find the prospective buyer, they finally go all the way back to the households. And so this is a rather complex looking model. There are 12 different things to remember, but an easier way to do it is to think of it as a series of relationships. For example, if you look at the space between products and spending, you'll notice that it's just a, a trade there that's happening between the product market and the household. The household gives up spending and they get products. Uh, and that goes for any stop on this. The firm pays out wages and salaries and in return, they're going to get some labor. And so it's much better to memorize to study this as a series of relationships rather than a bunch of disconnected stops on a complex model. And there you have it. That's the circular flow model. Hopefully this made a lot of sense and you learned a lot and have a great day. Thank you for watching.